Let's dive into params and search params in Next.js. If you're working with navigation, you will definitely need to understand these two concepts. In simple terms, for a given URL, params is a promise that resolves to an object containing dynamic route parameters, like ID, for example. Search params is a promise that resolves to an object containing the query parameters, like filters and sorting. To understand this better, let's build a simple news article page that supports multiple languages. First, let's look at how to create links with both params and search params. In the home component, add two links. The first one says read in English, and href is slash articles slash breaking news one, two, three, question mark, language is equal to English. I'm going to duplicate this link, change the text to read in French, and change language to fr. Here, breaking news one to three is the dynamic route parameter and language is the query parameter. Next, let's define a route for the articles. We've done this before. So in the app folder, create a folder called articles and inside it, create another folder called article ID. This time within square brackets. Inside the folder, create a page.tsx file and define the news article component. Export default function, news article, and for the JSX, render an h1 tag with the text news article followed by ID and a paragraph with the text reading in language. I will then add a language switcher with links to switch the language. So import the link component from next slash link and invoke it. Language is going to be English and href is going to be slash articles slash ID question mark language is equal to en. Similarly, we will create Spanish and French with language is equal to ES and FR. In the browser, when you click the link read in English, the news article component gets rendered. We have breaking news one, two, three, which is the route parameter and lang is equal to en, which is the query parameter. Go back, click on read in French, and we see the same component with language is equal to fr. Our next step is to access the value of params and search params in the news article component and display them in the UI, replacing ID and language. Begin by destructuring the params and search params from the props. Params is a promise that resolves to an object containing the dynamic rod parameters. In our case, article ID is the dynamic rod parameter. This is of type string. Search params is a promise that resolves to an object containing the query parameters. Lang is the query parameter and the value can be English, Spanish or French. I'll also make it optional. Since params and search params are promises, you will need to await them in the component. Add the async keyword to the function and await the params and search params. Get hold of the article ID from params and language from search params with the default value of English. Now replace the placeholder text in the JSX with the values of article ID and language. For the links, use backticks instead of double quotes and interpolate $ID. So article ID across all three links. Head to the browser and we see the values rendered in the UI. News article, breaking news one, two, three, reading in French. Click on the language links and you will see the language changes. I should point out that you're able to await and access params and search params in the news article component because it is a server component. If this was a client component, you would get an error as client components do not support async await. And use client at the top and you will see the issue. Now to access the values of params and search params in a client component, you will need to use a hook from React, which is the use hook. So remove async and await and instead import use from React. Invoke this hook, passing in params and search params. Head to the browser, 
And you can see the component continues to work as expected. So async await for server components, but use hook for client components. That is how you access params and search params in Nextjs. Now, one very important point to note is that while page.tsx has access to both params and search params, layout.tsx only has access to params. Search params are not available in layout components. As an exercise, define a layout component and try to access search params in it and let me know in the comments below what happens. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.